Ladies and gentlemen, may I be so bold to welcome you to a spectacle of intellect where we discuss OpenAI's new innovation which is called Search GPT and how it compares to the world's most valuable rapper, Perplexity. So let's dive into the article first. It was introduced on 31st of, the, of October, introducing Chat GPT Search. This was in a wait time for a couple of months, but then it just launched again with a, with, with a very simple feature, which is just a search button. I mean, currently it's only accessible to the pro users, but soon it'll also be accessible to all the other users as well. All right, so the basic OpenAI article where it gives you a, a you know deep dive into what search GPT is even about. So you can definitely look into it. There's an option to read weather, stocks, sports, news, even integrated map as well. So all of these we're gonna try out as well. And I'd say you can definitely read out the article, but I'd say we first go hands on and uh, discover this ourselves. So this is our current interface. We're currently in GPT 4.0, and this is the attach button. And of course, this is search the web button. And perplexity doesn't really have search the web because it's default search the web. And now you can also add this as a default search engine as well, right? So it's definitely competing with Google head on. So now let's just uh, try out something cool, right? Um, what's the latest tech news for today, right? So do I just enter in or do I click this? All right, so I'm, I'm supposed to click this icon and then enter. Now it's gonna search the web. All right, searching the web was a little quick. All right, so this is basically scraping through all these articles and also giving us uh, the articles as well. The sources as the articles. The interface is okay. The interface is not that great. But as you can see, it also has the articles in the small cards. Okay. Open AI, custom AI chip development. All right. I, th I think that's a little biased. Is it biased or is it because it really is the latest tech news? I don't know. If AI is trying to, if the LLM is trying to be biased about Open AI's new innovation because I've only asked what's the latest tech news for today. And then it listed out OpenAI and then again, ChatGPT, new web search functionality. All right, look at this. That's so ironic. Searching about this and then looking into this again. But I kind of think it's biased because it's only giving us OpenAI's innovation here. All right. All right. Now let's see what it gives us. Searching the web, uh, you can see you can see those small icons of what websites it's visited. Okay, you have the map icon. It actually looks like Apple Maps. You know what? Let's let's use the exact same prompt again. In this. Also, before that, I just wanted to share with you guys, Arvind Srinivas, the founder of a Perplexity, actually posted this video where he is actually wearing this gold chain and a glasses and a black t-shirt kind of looks like zuck and look what sam Ortman commented like an ill-fitting hoodie and lego Adidas shoes congrats on a truly great product he's basically trying to troll perplexity because just next day itself right he launched um sorry gpt so he's trying to get free press there that's what that's what happens on twitter founders you know trying to make memes on each other all right, I mean, look at this now. Okay, so perplexity has a different kind of view. It's it's currently in the chat itself, a list and a map. Okay, we've got a tab. All right, so I actually like OpenAI's uh, feature here because I mean, look at this. It's so clean. This one's clean. Also have the sources. Okay, if I click on the sources, it opens another tab here. That's clean. All right, this is nice. And now what about perplexity? All right, fine dining. Okay, this is more in like a text basis. And now you can just click on these uh, links of websites and just look into it, right? This is great. All right, so so far this is great, but again, look at the map view. Kind of similar, I think it's just different interfaces. Prefers, I mean, you know, it just depends on what you prefer for now. Also, I'm actually on Perplexity's free plan. I don't even have the paid plan right now, right? And, and then I still get these good results. And look at this. I think the days of Google search engine is numbered because 
I haven't been using Google at all, right? I've just been searching on perplexity. That's it, because who's going to read through all the articles on Google when perplexity is going to give you the, the best catered version? I think that's what human beings want, right? They want a catered version specifically for them instead of scrolling through everything. So that's why I think we uh, perplexity wins. That's why organizing stuff wins. Kind of like product hunt where you're curating the products. So there's definitely a market for curation. I mean, look at this. It's just so nice, man. I mean, okay, what happens if I click on this? All right, if I click on this, it points out the, the restaurant and then a direction, it opens Google Maps again. All right. Website, call, mm -hmm, makes sense. Okay. This is good. And what, what else was the feature that we can try out? Stocks. All right, so will it have an integrated chart? Let's let's check that out. What is Nvidia stock price today? You can just cancel this. Okay, use chat use chat GPT for every search. That's okay. Can we do that? Let's try adding the extension. All right, this is okay. Okay, so man, I mean, you don't even need Google anymore, right? You can just use this, but I think it just uh, it's just redirecting back to ChatGPT again. That's not really an you know that's like a new interface, but all right. Source is Market Watch. Wow, this is clean. As you can see, it's just a simple chart, and then integrated inside ChatGPT. This wasn't there before. I don't know if you guys remember. Remember when November when um, you know OpenAI just launched. They into, there was nothing, there was no buttons, it was just a chat feature, it was just GPT 3.5, simple, right? And after that, we've got these tabs and sidebars and all of these features, right? In just two years, there's been a lot of innovation, of course. And I really think that OpenAI already has a lot more coming up, meaning, um, I don't know if you guys remember the share screen feature, the app itself, the Mac app. That is something I'm really waiting for where, where OpenAI can really see what's on your screen and then give you inputs. That's gonna be really, really game changing for now. Um, I think this is it. I mean, it's good. Um, I, I wouldn't call it like a giant leap in innovation, but yes, you previously had perplexity. Now you also have GPT search. That's great. But my take on this would be, uh, just keep using, just keep using these features for uh, your day-to-day, -day, you know, um, search and try to curate and try to digest all this information and just be updated on everything that's happening. But also, we're going. I'm, I'm actually going to launch a complete, a course, a free course, of course, a free course, not like a you know LinkedIn bio course, a free episodic course where I'll be shooting a complete um, video on how to build a SaaS from ideation to launching an entire SaaS application where you guys can even participate and be a part of this community. So that's what I'm gonna start shooting now. But again, thank you guys so much for all the love that I've been receiving. I just, you know, uh, from nothing to 984 subscribers is great. And I think I have a, you know, long journey ahead. But I think with your support, I can definitely do it. And thank you again. Subscribe to the channel, guys, because we're gonna be doing some really amazing content and. We're going to start monetizing our skills as a non-coder, building a SaaS from scratch, even with the backend. Most people don't do backend. I would be doing a complete proper functional application with the backend, AWS, Firebase authentication, and everything. We'll be doing it completely on YouTube. I'll be sharing it with you guys. But I guess that's all. I mean, it's cool. I wouldn't call it a great innovation. I mean, engineers at OpenAI can easily build this actually in... In, in, in a month, man, I mean, it's nothing, it's really nothing that amazing. It's just the integration of a map and all these tabs. It's great. It's needed. It's great. Okay. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's great. But again, um, keep using these. But one thing I'd say is SEO. SEO is going to change in 2025. SEO is no longer going to be on Google search and optimization will be on perplexity and chat GPT. Imagine you optimize for being on top when someone types in what are the best restaurants in New York. That 
is what's going to happen with the newest version of SEO. So let's prepare for that. Maybe I'll do a video on that as well. Enough of yapping. I'll see you guys around. And don't forget to cook, right? Let's be cooking.